I'm a respiratory therapist and the respiratory disease manager at the Hospital for Special Care in New Britain, Connecticut. I'm here to talk today about what pulmonary rehab is. Pulmonary rehab is a six to 10 week program that can help you improve the quality of your life while living with COPD. It helps you take control over your lung condition, learn how to handle it in your everyday life. Once you feel that you can control your breathing, you'll be less likely to get sick and less likely to be in the hospital. There are many parts of a pulmonary rehab program. It's not just exercise that's involved. The program is made to fit your needs and your goals. Techniques and classes can teach you how to be less short of breath and how to stay healthy so that your lungs don't get worse and you stay out of the hospital. It's not only what you do that will help you, but how you feel. We know that it's upsetting when you have trouble breathing. It's helpful to be in a group setting to learn from others who have the same problems and can get, you can get support and ideas from other people as well. That's why group sessions in pulmonary rehab are important. The other parts of the pulmonary rehab program look at your nutrition, your need for oxygen, and if you're smoking, to get you help to stop smoking. You must have had a lung function test where a doctor diagnosed you with COPD. That test must be recent. You must be able to use your legs, follow the directions of the staff, and they will teach you how to breathe and feel better. Being motivated to make these changes in your life will help you breathe and feel better. With primary care physician's help and pulmonology encouraging me and doing backflips for me, I tried quitting many times and each time I failed. I was losing weight. It was just dropping off. I found it again, and I found a few of its friends. But anyway, I came here. And this program covers every aspect of COPD. There's nothing that they don't address. And the wonderful part about it is it's customized. This is not one size fits all. I know that not everyone has the same um, determination, but they're all going to receive the same encouragement and the same support, and it will make a difference. And for me, who truly felt that I must be so addicted to cigarettes that I could not quit, I did. Yes, pulmonary rehab is covered by insurance. Check with your insurance provider to see if you have a copay. Your doctor must have diagnosed you with COPD. Then you will meet the criteria to come to pulmonary rehab. How to choose a good pulmonary rehab is important because not all programs are the same. You can go to the place and ask for a tour and may be able to speak with somebody who's been through the program before. You want to make sure that parking is accessible, building entrances are accessible, and that the education that is being provided is with good, different team members who can teach you things about your lung disease. A good reputation is a good, is a good thing to get for a program. Hello, I am Dr. Stephen Prunk, a pulmonologist and the medical director of the Pulmonary Rehabilitation Program at the Hospital for Special Care in New Britain, Connecticut. How do you know if pulmonary rehab is right for you? You must have COPD that is either moderate, severe, or very severe. The doctor will ask you such questions as, is there anything that you did a year ago that you can't do now because of your breathing? What makes you short of breath? How long can you walk before you get short of breath? What activities do you wish you could do but can't because of problems with your breathing? What type of home do you live in now? A house or an apartment? Does it have stairs or an elevator? And who lives there with you? Do you drive? If so, do you have a handicapped parking sticker? Do you do the cooking, the shopping, the cleaning? Do you smoke? If you do, do you want to quit? Starting pulmonary rehab earlier, when you start to have problems with breathing, is important because the sooner you start the program, the sooner you may be able to do these things. Return to normal everyday activities, including work. Improve the everyday activities that keep you independent through smoking cessation and oxygen use, if the oxygen is ordered by a doctor, these will slow disease progression and help you live longer. Despite having a chronic disease, pulmonary rehab will help you live better 
with less shortness of breath, better endurance for physical activities, and with a better quality of life. The medication helped and I was still having trouble breathing so the doctor suggested pulmonary rehab and I jumped on it. I said, yeah, I'll try anything. I feel more active now to where I didn't have the energy before. The elliptical machine, the weight machines, <laughs> the muscle machine. <laughs> the exercising helps and the pursed lip breathing. I'm able to, from the time I get up in the morning till the time I go to bed, I go, 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 to where I couldn't do that before. At first, all of this may seem very scary for you, but this is a program that is designed for you to help you reach your goals. The exercise program is tailored to meet your needs, especially if you have other health issues. You'll be supported every step of the way. Your team will help you include you in the plan. I've been wearing this since I was di diagnosed with COPD in 2003. So she came here with me, and I was in the wheelchair because I couldn't do much walking. And uh, they told us where to go. So Shannon wheels me down to the room where they said to go to. And I looked in there and I said, Shannon, this can't be it. I says, this place will kill me. They said, you didn't find the place? We said, no, we're, you know, we're just this big gym area. Well, that's it. I said, no. I've noticed a change in myself and I'm a better person. I go to BJ's, I don't drive that thing anymore. I walk the whole store with a carriage, even in the grocery stores, the drug stores. You know, I do a lot more than what I did before. Before I was just sitting at home getting depressed. I feel great. I mean, from a year ago, they wanted me gone and I'm doing this now. When you hear exercise, it may sound overwhelming, but there are different types of exercises and some are done sitting and some are done standing. But you will do them at your own pace. You will do leg and arm exercises and with each session you will build up your strength. Even if you can only do the exercises sitting for two minutes, that's fine. By the end of the program you'll see how much more you can really do and how much more energy you have and how you feel better. Well, I started out being sent to pulmonary rehab by my doctor. And once I went through it, I liked it. So I went to the next program, which was guided by the trainer. And I really liked it, but I felt it was doing me a lot of good and I wasn't there often enough. So once I went through the training, and the trainer says, you know, you can't, most people can't do it on their own because they're not disciplined, but he sensed that I was very disciplined. So I joined on my own and now I come daily. So I, I call it my job. <laughs> I do not miss unless it's something very important. And uh, I find that it's helped me tremendously. Well, I start out with cardio, and I do at least a half hour, sometimes 45 minutes, and I do that as my warm up. Then I do an hour and a half of the resistance weight machines. I found that it's helped me lose weight. I've quote unquote bulked up a little bit. They tell me, I don't know. <laughs> and I just, I'm motivated by it, highly motivated. The more I do, the better I feel, so I keep doing it because I'm afraid if I stopped what the consequences would be since I've seen the importance of doing it. Prior to that, it was at least two, three times a year with what they call an exasperation, where it's a medical term for a lung infection. And being in the hospital wasn't too much fun and it you know, affected a lot of things. And since I've been doing this, I haven't been in the hospital in three years. I live in fear of ending up in the hospital, so that's why it's become my job. My job is to keep myself healthy and out of the hospital. There are ways that you can learn to save your energy. For example, you can use a shower bench when bathing. The occupational therapist will work with you to learn how to do all the things you need to do in your home to take care of yourself and to breathe properly while doing them. Working with the physical therapist can teach you how to save your energy as well. How to climb stairs and getting in and out of the car. Stair climbing is a big problem for most people with COPD, but pacing and learning how to handle this difficult task can make it easier. When working with the respiratory therapist, you'll learn how to breathe better and purse-slip breathe. You'll learn how to feel less stressed and less anxious. You'll definitely learn how to manage your own oxygen safely because you're going to want to be able to go out.
and you want to be prepared when going out while using your oxygen. The educational topics that you will hear will teach you about how your lungs work, keeping them clear, staying healthy, staying out of the hospital, and also how to take your breathing medications and how to take them properly. Stress management is important, anxiety and depression is common, and we work on things like also end-of-life decisions. In order to reduce sickness, nutrition is very important too. Breathing retraining with diaphragmatic breathing and purslip breathing is another educational topic. I think I was here about three weeks outpatient and then uh, got into the pulmonary rehab program and it was really kind of exciting for me um, as I got to meet new people and learn new things and being an old-time learner I, uh, I enjoy that and so for me uh, became part of my life um, and as I was going through all of the procedures, learning how to breathe, uh, learning how to do exercises that would uh, help me get better and stronger and um, live a more comfortable life. Remember your breathing and, you know, smell the roses and, you know, all the things that, that they teach you here. And so, um, I started doing that, and every now and then I'd have to take a Xanax because it just really wasn't enough on my own. I need the air. So, you know, the air's coming at me, and I start my deep breathing and my exhaling, and that gets me, that gets me through it. Since I've been here, um, the exacerbations are fewer and fewer. Um, the stays in the hospital, um, they're, they're, they're fewer and fewer. Um, but a lot of it has to do with my relearning and learning how to uh, kind of program myself and those who are around me, my support system, to be able to uh, help me through rough times. After pulmonary rehab, it's very important that you join a maintenance program and a support group. You can get social support and also continue to exercise. By working with your COPD disease manager and your doctor, you will stay on track. Keep moving and keep exercising.